Buenos dias, buenos dias, and welcome to this Monday, where we're starting fresh off the week. I hope you're all well rested and you're ready for this week because it's going to be a big one. And specifically, one major crypto category, one hot narrative is going to have all the eyes and all the attention and all the spotlight this week. Before I talk about that, though, I want to briefly look into the current market. We're seeing Bitcoin 67,800 with the Bitcoin halving now just less than a month away or around a month away. So slowly, we're going to enter the pre-halving rally after this post-ETF rally. The Bitcoin halving occurs every 210,000 Bitcoin blocks. And we're estimated to reach block height 840,000, which marks the fourth Bitcoin halving in around four to five weeks, which means that soon we're entering this rally, even though it's always a kind of set in the code event. So it's not really a rumor that might happen. It's actually something that is hard coded into the Bitcoin blockchain. So, but still usually we're seeing a pre rally and then we're seeing a bit of a sell the news event. And after that, some consolidation, reaccumulation, and then one or two or three months later, that's when the actual bull rally really starts. And why is it such a big event for Bitcoin and bullish for the Bitcoin price? Well, because it cuts the potential sell pressure from miners in half because the emissions get cut in half that miners make to stabilize and secure the Bitcoin network. And it was a huge catalyst to cause a huge bull run four years ago. And I think that's going to be the same this time around. Ethereum around 35, 3600 US dollars as well after a successful Tenkwon upgrade, which brought um, Ethereum layer two transaction fees further down and increased scalability and throughput. And um, yeah, then we have Solana. Solana just doing its own thing, flipped BNB. Now it's the fourth largest, actually the third largest, because USDT is a stable token. So the third largest cryptocurrency out there and has a $119 billion fully diluted market valuation. And if you look at the chart, it's just amazing to see. We're not yet in a price discovery mode. We're still around 20% away for Sol. However, if you look at market cap, we are already at all time highs, right? Because there's now more Sol on the market through emissions. And that's why we are seeing a higher market cap, even though the price is still um, lagging behind. But I think it's just a matter of when, right? And I think it's just literally days at this trajectory. Um, so congratulations if you hold Sol, if you are from the Solana community. And um, um, also if you're participating in this meme coin craze that's going on right now, the meme coin casino, which is happening mainly on Solana. Um, it's very interesting how fast that really went. Um, five months ago, we we're still in a kind of a bear market. And now we're already in the deep, deep meme coin jungle. And it's mostly happening on Solana. Um, I just want to warn you, be careful with those things. This is highly, highly speculative. It's basically a gamble. And you really have to be there 24-7 on your screen, locked in, and place bets left and right to hopefully catch one early enough to pull a 10, 20, 100x. And there are literally coins that do that within hours, right? The only thing you want to avoid is being late to the party and then being dumped on and sitting on an 80, 90% low liquidity meme coin that is already, um, yeah, where people already have moved on from. But um, yeah, other than that, that's also part of the crypto culture, right? Like meme coins, that's all what crypto is also there for, making people rich quick, right? So that's fair enough. If you want to do that, just my call to action is only be careful. Don't ebb with your entire net worth and um, don't just blindly do it, right? Like I said, if you want to get involved in the meme coin uh, space, then probably the best you can do is just spend a week or two, day and night, on um, on all these forums, on all these Telegram chats, uh, on Dex tools, and just you know get a feeling for it. Also, what liquidity means and uh, what valuations make sense or not, because this moves on an hourly basis, literally. Now, I want to talk about the main category that I think is definitely going to be the most talked about in crypto, because also there is this intersection of crypto and AI, artificial intelligence really is going to be the hot focus this week because NVIDIA has their GTC conference, which is taking place starting today in San Jose, California at the SAP Arena, uh, SAP uh, Conference Center, uh, a huge, uh, I think that's a huge venue for tens of thousands of people. And there's going to be hundreds of companies, speakers, presentations. Everyone is obviously looking forward to Jensen Huang's uh, presentation, which starts in nine hours uh, from now as I'm recording this video. 
He is the founder and CEO of NVIDIA. And NVIDIA is one of the most important backbones for the AI era in traditional finance. But there's now this huge intersection to crypto as well, which is why we're seeing a lot of AI coins pumping left and right since months already. And we're going to be looking into five of them or six of them today. But um, yeah, it's also interesting to see people like Ilya Polushkin, the founder of Near Protocol, being here featured as kind of a spotlight speakers here right on the main page, the main homepage for the GTC conference. And that is quite substantial, right, to see that also from the crypto space, we have veterans and experts that are on these panels, hosting keynotes, they have booths, they have exhibition stands and those kind of things. So that's definitely great to see. And Ilya has actually also been here on this YouTube channel. I did an interview with him. You can watch that right after watching this video. But yeah, that's great to see. Also, if you go through the speakers list, there are some, um, some interesting people here, also from obviously mostly from TreadFi and institutions, enterprise. Um, but yeah, AI is going to be one of the biggest narratives this year. Um, I think alongside restaking and modularity, which are more crypto native narratives, AI is one that connects also the traditional world and industries and enterprise. Um, we also have more like Deepin, right? There's also this intersection between AI, Deepin, and blockchain. So those projects, I guess, are going to be very, very hot. And also GPU providers, right? And anything that has to do with cloud that is also kind of covered by that. Now, the biggest and kind of most famous AI coin, AI play in the crypto space is of course BitTensor, Tau, um, now at $670, up 6% today, ranked 31 at a $14 billion fully diluted valuation. And if you look at the chart, it's just absolutely beautiful. If you caught this in October at $45, uh, even um, in May or below $40, you're already sitting on a 15 to, to 20X almost. So that's great to see. Um, BitTensor is actually substrate built. So they're kind of home to the Polkadot and Kusama or Dot Sama world. Um, but yeah, they are very, very interesting uh, about their um, AI platform that they're building. You can also follow the Open Tensor Foundation here on Twitter at Open Tensor. And yeah, I personally have never really done a deep, deep dive into it. Um, the first time I really have had someone explain it to me and tell me about it was when I was in Bali last year and met up with um Dima, the founder of Bustrom, which is a Cosmos native project. And he's also been an early investor into Bitinzer. And he said that this is one of the best AI plays in crypto. I didn't listen to him back then, or I don't know, I just didn't like do my my further due diligence from there. The next one that I think also has a relatively decent uh, representation at uh, the GTC conference this week is Render. Ranked 27, flipped Atom just now, $4.8 billion market cap, 6.6 um, .6 based on fully diluted. So actually half the size of Bittens or Tau, but um, yeah, still higher because of their um, circulating market cap on CoinGecko. And um, Render is also off the chart. Like if you look at this chart, absolutely amazing. Uh, they were here at 40 cents in like December 2022. Um, if you take September, they were at like $1.50, $1.60. So that's almost a 10x from the October lows and then uh, from the bear market lows around a 30x. So absolutely great, great to see. This is also probably one um, that you should put on your watch, watch list for, for this week. They're also building de decentralized GPU-based rendering solutions. And that just fits perfectly into this narrative for this week. Um, and yeah, they've also been around for a while. And um, yeah, they are just um, some of the most experienced out there, I guess, when it comes to that field. And they are currently sitting at all-time highs pretty much, right? So Render is probably the next one to put in your watch list. And you can also follow Render Network here on Twitter and um, stay up to date also about all their announcements. They're already like tweeting a lot about uh, GTC and um, yeah, some of the uh, pioneers there. And Render actually started on Ethereum but then they migrated over to Solana. So with one AI substrate play, now we have one AI Solana play, and we also definitely have one AI Cosmos play. We actually have plenty of them, but uh, this is the one that I personally have my, my eyes on. This is actually also now my largest position in my liquid portfolio, Akash Network AKT. Um, I bought a lot at around 25 cents uh, at the lows here. So even though I feel like I kind of missed out on BitTensor and Render and maybe even Solana, right? Solana did a 25X as well. Um, this one did a 
almost 30x for me um, at around six dollars it's going to be around 25 30x so this one is uh, also very interesting of course decentralized cloud computing they also have this gpu marketplace and um, they're also at the nvidia gtc conference you can also see how um yeah, Greg Ozuri has tweeted about it. Zach Horn is there. And um, that's one thing. Another thing is also that Coinbase announced that AKT is on their roadmap to potentially get listed there. So I think this was also one that is boiling up now this week to probably have a lot more eyeballs because it also fits into this narrative. Um, and uh, maybe even a partnership that would be huge. Uh, I don't know if they actually have a speaking slot or, or something or a panel or, or a booth, but um they will be there and um, hopefully there's some positive news that comes out and then maybe shortly after that a coinbase listing i don't know but uh, akash network is my favorite ai play in cosmos but in that context of course i also have to mention fetch ai fat ranked 48 with now over three billion dollars in fully diluted valuation 265 absolutely amazing to see and um, yeah fetch also has very strong ties to enterprise they have this very close integration and pilot project they're running with Bosch, one of the largest industry companies in the world. Um, I had a lot of conversations with them. Humayun, the founder and CEO, has also been here on my YouTube channel a couple of months ago. I think sometime last year in uh, in um, like June or something. So that was like 2023, around that time when it was like around 20 cents. And now we're at $2.65. So that's also a clean 10, 12, 13x. Um, and yeah, congratulations if you're in fat. This is chart is just absolutely nuts, right? Like it's really started running a month ago um, from 55, 56 cents to now $2.65 within a month. So congratulations on Fetch. We're also, by the way, running a validator on Fetch. We're running a validator on Akash Network, which is also something we started um, in the depth of the bear market. The last kind of play for this week during the GTC conference by NVIDIA is, of course, near protocol. You see Ilya was already um, covered as a featured speaker on a main page. $7.61 right now, slightly down today. Maybe this has already been priced in over the past three, four weeks when near actually went on this rally here from below $4 and just doubled to almost $9 here um, within just a couple couple days or a couple of weeks. But yeah, I think there might be more to come. Ilya is also an expert when it comes to machine learning and AI. Uh, we also talked about this briefly in my interview I did with him. So near protocol, definitely want to keep an eye on as well. We're also running a validator by way with Stakesito there that we also recently announced. We also have this partnership with Metapool, which is a liquid staking provider on near protocol. So also very interesting like crypto native use cases, but also AI and kind of enterprise use cases, right? Um, chain abstraction is also a big name of the game this year in crypto. And um, yeah, with Elias' background in AI, I think this is also very interesting to see him um, eye to eye on those panels and, and discussions with NVIDIA and the such, such players, right? Now, to wrap it up for today, let's briefly look into the Cosmos uh, top winners, uh, gainers, and losers. And we can already see Humans AI, which is also an AI play, up 31% um, and has a market cap now of over 200 million. I think we discovered this here like three, four months ago, something like that. Um, I, If I remember correctly, it was still a, a two-figure uh, millions uh, market cap that they had. Um, but I've always been interested ever since I learned about them, that um, about their voice cloning and about their AI translation, because that's something me as a content creator, I'm very interested in. Um, but yeah, humans AI definitely want to Keep an eye on for you. Xpla Gaming Jam and Cosmos. I talked about it also um, in my video on Saturday. 163 million valuation right now. Um, that's a gaming project out of South Korea. Then we have Kanto up 18%, Stride 13, and Kaif also double digits. Those are the top winners. What are the top losers? The top loser is Asset Mental. To be honest, I don't even know too much about um, how they're operating these days and uh, to what degree they're they're active. But um, Asset Mental, minus 18%, now only a 4 million market cap. Pretty dead, uh, if you ask me. Um, then we have Stargaze, also down. This one got hammered. I don't even know why. Some whale has sold uh, a lot of tokens um, yesterday, and um, this one crashed 20%. This might actually mean that the dollar price for bad kits is now more affordable and um, lower, even though in Star's terms, it's at all-time highs. 
but um, check that out if you don't have a bad kit but really really want one now might be a good chance to actually look into that and um, yeah i think stars is definitely going to recover from this this is probably just some some whale selling off and now i want to leave you with a request for today and that request is that you subscribe to my youtube channel number one much much appreciated we are on the road to 100k subscribers um, hopefully by the end of the year that would be really really cool to see so please support me on that share also this video share the youtube channel that people subscribe and we can get there faster together as a community and also go watch my video from yesterday the top restaking video restaking like i said alongside ai modularity is probably one of the top three narratives this year especially around the time eigenlayer launches and it is video which is only 11 minutes long i fully break down how eigenlayer actually works what restaking actually means and um, what are some of the top contenders in the Cosmos ecosystem, right? And you already see the logo here, Persistence is there now. We also have Picasso Network and some others. But yeah, that's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Stay safe and be good.